Hello and welcome back to my display on Total War Free Kingdoms with Gongdu on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time we left off, we were doing quite well in this area. Uh, the northern area didn't go quite as well because we had lost our town to the farm, or to the to the farmer, to the to Gongsun Zan, uh, who I had given it to basically this army I had there, and I just surrendered it basically to them because I didn't want to lose this army and I was nowhere I was going to be able to win against that because my army was still replenishing and. But only was only just recruited, so we got this uh, Wang Hao army still to deal with, and Gong Shin, or Gong Du himself is in um, ambush stance now. Hopefully, catch one of these armies off guard. We got a ninety-five percent chance of success, so hopefully they decide to go that way towards this toolmaker or something. But we'll see. We also have an R, a battle waiting for us there, and we have a battle waiting for us here, both of which I will fight uh, in a moment. And we are besieging the first of the three capitals, the capital of the Kingdom of Wei. Which we definitely can't win right now. If they were to sally out, I think we'd have... We, I would probably just back off, because um, this army is okay. But the garrison is a little bit better than that. Being, of course, the protectors of heaven and the defenders of earth. So I'm not entirely sure how well that would go right now. Also, I think this is the army that doesn't have the explosive shots. So we'll have a look at that, actually. Uh, continue no, siege. Oh no, okay, this one does have explosive shots. I think it's... is it her Yi's arm? It doesn't. Yeah, you don't, and you're never gonna get it either. Well, that makes you fuck shit, Buyan. Do I replace him at some point? For example, with Liao Ping, who's also level 5, which replaces level 5 guys. That would work out pretty well. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I might actually do that. Let's have a look at that guy. Also a level up waiting for me. Li Liu Liao Ping, that's the one. He doesn't oh he does get it, but it's two levels at least away. That's not great either. What about like other people? Because there was a couple level two guys that he liked. Okay, this guy would get it pretty quickly. Sorry, I had to sneeze. T Yu gets it after two levels as well. So does Peng Ching. Chen He already has it. Oh, I mean, please, please like Chen He, because then I've got Her Man, uh, sorry, Her Yi, Her Man, and Ching He. How great would that be? Um, but I'm guessing, ah, oh, Chen He, they do like him. Okay, we're definitely replacing this guy with Chen He, because he can get it quite easily. He's also quite solid. Okay, you're definitely, you're getting the boot, Booyah. Um... Peng, wait, was it? Yeah, it was Chen He. Okay, he already has it as well, so don't even have to level up or anything to get it. He already has it. Okay. Well, in that case, um, you're going to have to give up all your items. Sorry, when I say give up your items, you need to literally not equip other ones. Um, and there are two, please. Hello? Just take this fucking spear and eat it. Actually, take that one in case I ever recruit you again. Um, now he's even less happy, but now I can fire him if I'm gonna replace him. So we finally get rid of that little one that's been there nagging me the whole time. Alright, so it's gonna be Chen He. And then you're gonna replace these units. I don't have the money right now to do this. Oops, yeah, I didn't really think about that. Do I have enough money to cancel? Or do I, did I have any buildings I was building? I was already canceling everything, wasn't I? I don't want to cancel that. This is only like 900 bucks, so that's not going to help me a whole lot. Um, I'll recruit one more. I'll have to recruit the rest. The, uh, I would say next turn, but I can't even afford that. Okay, I'm going to have to cancel this one. So I can at least recruit that one, and then one. Okay, so in the next turn we'll recruit the other trebuchet as well. It means we won't get full strength when we get there, but it's okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, oh, actually, I've got more battles to be had as well, which hopefully will give me enough money. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um, also, Buya, Mr. Good old Mr. Buya, uh, you're up here. You can see by the fact that you're so fucking angry. I'm so sorry that my faction wasn't the right, for, the one for you because you're so. You have a grudge against me for some reason. I'm. I am sorry. You served me okay for a while, and your name is Buya, which is awesome. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You are getting that weapon that he had, so should keep an eye on that. You're gonna get that mount. 
and the cunning thing, and the cunning thing. All right. Yep. And we got some battles. Let's do the battles, and then we're gonna do that after. Okay. So this one is gonna be kind of awkward because normally the enemy would definitely come out, but that's only when there's a garrison for some reason. When you fight it manually against an actual army, sometimes they just decide. Even though it's only like this, they might still decide to stay inside. Decide to stay inside. Okay. We'll see. Oh, she, her gear looks awesome now. She, I think she's my highest level um, healer. Also, Huang Xiao is getting pretty damn old at this point. Right, I want to have vision of the town or of the entrance, so this looks like it might be the best location. A line as we do, and generals, calf. All right, please come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. See, they're not coming. I knew it. All right, well, we could just do the old tactic of blowing up as many units as possible and then just going for it with another battle and then another one. Another one. To be fair, these ones are level 10, so we honestly can do a ton of damage to these units at least. Okay, I think I'm perhaps using the wrong angle with this unit. Yeah. I actually have burned down both the towers. Actually, no, that one's not going yet. One more hit on that. Oh, wait, are you coming towards me now? Have I done it? Oh, I've done it! We only killed a few hundred men. Actually, not even a few hundred yet, I don't think. Unfortunately, because they're all coming from different places, I can't just like set up attacking in this area and hope that I murder a bunch of dudes. It's not really gonna work that way. Can I? May I interest you in dueling someone else? Actually, take pay you on Shao. Oh, okay, then I'm still doing a lot of damage. It's fine. Um, no, you can use your own buffs. You're fine. Oh, that first hit already. And I gave him that extra attack rate as well, so he's done Dude, tons of damage. Oh, can we get a fucking record killing here? Oh no, did he just use- no, no, that was me using it. It just took a while before it activated. It wasn't even active yet before that, my god. Oh, it's a slaughter fest, holy god. What are we at right now? Well, 515, 627. You've already won as well. One more hit. Oh my god, nothing came through there. The only unit that made it through was the one that came over here, came from there. Alright, you won. Now get your ass back here before you get blown up by tower fire. Actually, no, I think I killed both the towers over there. Well, wasn't that purposely great? Also, I'm still firing at the same spot. Oh, there's still units there, never mind, it's fine. Alright, still make your way over here, though. Alright, strip speed until we win now, to be honest. Great waste of ammo there, archers. I love it. Oh! Oh my god! I, like, literally half the unit destroyed in a single volley. Literally half. It was from 240 to 120. There's another unit coming in now. Hello, and welcome. Must be close to being out of ammo now, though. 1,043 kills, six, 796. Oh my god. Huh. Yeah, we are out of ammo, and they've all routed. Perfect timing. <laughs> oh, that was great. Did we even lose? I don't think we lost a single man there. Did they even get into melee or with anything? I see a couple units that aren't full health, but I'm not sure if they already weren't before the battle started. That was painful for them. How many kills? 1,085 and 882. Sorry. Didn't even take any damage because he. Sorry, he was the one who jeweled, and he, he wasn't even wounded. Uh, because he got all of his HP back after the battle. Good shit, and we do indeed have enough money to recruit that unit now. Sweet. And we got ourselves a... One of these two, or both? I don't even know what we got here. Um, that's a pretty good item for a healer. 
Some might even say it's the best item for a healer. You know what? You haven't. You've only got that. So you need to get updated here. Here you go. Take that. Is a band from the nineties, two thousands, probably two thousands, right? Take that. Robbie Williams. Someone tell me. All right. Uh, so that gives me enough money to recruit this unit here. I feel good about that replacement. Booya is no longer ruining shit for me. And we're gonna make this a night battle. Fight that one. And this should be another absolute slaughter fast. This army is, however, inexperienced, and I believe that the general here doesn't have flaming shot to lock yet. Not 100 percent sure about that, but I am pretty sure about that. But not a hundred percent sure. However, I am pretty sure. Never mind, it has blow up shot. That is a new name. I just it was an accident that I said it, but I'm I'm going with I'm flying with it. Uh alright, blow up shots. Yeah, we'll just set up over here. This is fine. In fact, is this army no it's not. I was gonna say is this army set up perfectly for me, but it's uh most definitely not done that. Close enough, though. Uh, generals, yeah, I just kind of sit up there, that's fine. Do you have any of the heal yet? You do have the heal, okay. Alright. Are they gonna move? Yes, they are. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh my god, that one unit just got destroyed. That archer unit went from full to basically dead. I wish to go further back so I would have more time for this. But... Overfiring, are we? Oh my god, that is way too accurate. Like, that is actually. That is not good being that accurate because it means I don't get any splash damage. <laughs> It just hits every, like every, the one guy, like a single dude just got absolutely demolished. Alright, you fire back in there, there's a couple units running back and forth through there. You guys thinking about coming over here, or, uh, or what? Let's have one of you guys firing over here, please. Alright, now run back before these arrow towers will destroy you. And everything you hold dear. What is that? Armor and melee evasion. Alright. Alright, someone murder this archer unit for me, please. They're not in range, so I'm gonna rely on. Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I'm getting destroyed. You know what? Fire arrows on some of you, so I have more morale debuffing going on. It also looks really cool. I gotta admit, flame arrows look fucking rad. My god, is anyone ever- are you trying to hit this unit, or what? Okay, both ones fire at that, please. Yeah, the morale debuff definitely helps when units are already almost riding, like right there. But regular arrows would have routed it enough, or in time as well. Can you just route, please? This is getting embarrassing. Alright. Another great victory. We're actually out of arrows for some units there as well. Another thousand kills combined between those two. And that first unit just got... I guess it was that one. Went from 240 men to 67 in a single volley. Just disappeared on the face of the earth. Alright. So there's a spice market. I don't think we have any bonuses for spice necessarily, but still... That's alright. We got the Tunic of Divination. Sweet. Uh, that we can't use, actually, because we are Yellow Turbans. Great stuff. Okay. We are now... Ooh, there's a tea house. There's the tea. We are pretty close to getting to that capital as well. You know what? Actually, that's kind of... I didn't even think about this. But yeah, we are going to have two capitals very shortly. And then we just got to get the third one. And of course, we need 95 regions, so... Plus, that one is way far away from everything else. And uh, again, as far as I'm aware, I can't make people abdicate. So I'm going to have to literally just take their all of their towns, basically. Having said that, though, 
I feel like once we take this guy's capital, we probably have most of his lands already anyway. Um, and of course, we are basically doing the same with the Kingdom of Wei, and that we're taking that. We're about to take that city, we're going to take this trade port very soon. And once we finally break through here, which hopefully should work out soon as well, we can start taking any towns that he has up here. So we're going to take out the Kingdom of Wei or Tato shortly as well, I'm sure. And then it really is just throwing as many armies as possible at the Kingdom of Wu, so I think it'll be okay. Anyway, we got ourselves a level up for Yun Qingbao. Unfortunately, no research rate, but soon. So why don't we go for the ability, and then we'll pick that up afterwards when she levels up again. If she levels up again. Um, so yeah, you're replenishing. I might actually leave this army here for an extra turn just to make sure I replenish more before I take that. And of course, there is still the chance that I can actually abdicate. I just don't know yet. So we'll see. Or can make people abdicate. Like, once I take a chair, maybe I can make other people abdicate. In fact, once I take that chair and I can make people abdicate, I might be able to make this guy abdicate very shortly. But again, I don't know if that's possible or not. We're going to have to just find out. It might even be more likely that I take out this place and then make South South abdicate. But again, I don't know. So I'm going to keep up the pressure for now and just... We'll see. Uh, I got money enough. I think actually, yeah, I've, I cancelled that building here. I, sh I didn't have to, but it's only two turns, so it's not really a huge deal. So I'm going to build it again now. Uh, other than that, diplomacy, anything to be done here? Besides peace, obviously. Uh, yeah, Ga uh, Gaobo is the guy over here. He wants peace. I don't have any real reason to attack him, but what are you going to give me for this? Can't get any land. Have you got any ancillaries? That's a big old no. Have you got any money? Yes, of course, but not a lot. Or at least not much you're willing to give me for it. Um, and I still can't actually make people va or vassalize people. Unfortunately, we are. We must be incredibly close now. We are 44 points. Oh, right, of course. We don't get it from towns. We get it from like general level ups and certain buildings. Right, I kind of forgot about that. That's a thing I need to think about. It's one of these ones over here, right? The schools? No, the temple. No, yes, there you go, enlightenment, faction wide, okay. So we, we, sh we really ought to build a couple of those just to get that done. Um, but we also get it from level ups from generals. We're just not really getting many of those anymore since everyone's getting to decent levels already. Um, yeah, I could peace out with that guy. I feel like the only town he has is probably this one right here. That farmland. I mean, he could have more stuff over there, but how many people is he at war with? Just me and Tsai Mao, who's all the way down here, so that's irrelevant. Uh, so yeah, we don't kill him. No one else is going to. He appears to like most of the people around him, so I think I'm going to leave it. I mean, being at more, being a piece of more people is definitely a good thing, because it makes it less likely others will declare war on me. <sighs> Fuck it, yeah, I'll take the piece. All right. Let's see how much money I can get out of this. All of that? No, not even. Perfect. All right. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but I can. I feel like I'm just going to attack him again at some point. Plus, I guess I'm also a piece of Han Fu. And likely won't actually be going to war with him anymore, so. Did he disband some of that force? I guess he can't afford to because he doesn't have any towns anymore. I don't know. We'll figure it out. The Bay, please don't declare war on me. Hey, we got the ambush done. Was it a full army or the small one? It was the full one. Oh, that means I can get the trebuchet. That's perfect. Wait, what? Oh, I got a garrison. Well... Funny enough, I don't think I want to... I mean, the garrison takes three minutes to arrive anyway. And a night battle means I get to reduce their morale by 15. Make them ride a lot faster. Yeah, I think that's better. Even though it's a valiant defeat, predicted. I think we'll be okay. This is technically one of my best armies. I mean, look at the experience in this army. Everyone's... I mean, the lowest we've got is four, but it's only those two units that are actually really good as well. And then after that, it's like... Five, seven, triple eight, nine, and the rest is all ten. Actually, there's a eight and a nine on the trebuchet as well. And of course, we don't have flaming shot here. I keep forgetting about that too. 
All right. Ooh, White Horse Raiders, the unique unit. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Same plan as always. Oh, that's perfect. The trebuchet is right up here. And a crossbow unit. Repeating crossbow, but still. We just charge our cav in here, kill them off, and then run behind our line to save them. Yep, that is the plan. Perfect. All right. Cav is kind of in an awkward position. I guess I'll just pop them in the forest and hope they don't get seen right away. They probably won't be. Actually, no, I'm going to charge the stuff over here. Never mind. So let's do that right away. Uh, then all of our range units back here. I actually am, for once, going to use Flaming Shot because yeah, having them already reduce the morale, that's actually not a bad idea at all. People in the comments keep telling me it's insane as well, but I kind of disagree with that. Uh, and I think I might even discharge all of these generals in. We've got the big heal, so we can just immediately charge in here and try and kill off these dudes right away. Keep you back here for the moment. We can just run you in later. All right, so you and you want to charge in there. You and you are going to charge in there, and the two of you are going to charge this guy. And then you can charge in as well, actually. All right, see you later. Shang Kai... Uh, I don't think I want a duel. We're just gonna destroy him right now, so why would we? Melee evasion, fuck yeah, why not? Shabby Shay, can you just route please? I mean, go routes. Alright, that guy's almost dead already. Shankai ran a bit far. Okay, go attack him as well now. Alright, he's gone. Cav is going to run straight into my um, spear and they're going to keep following me. Oh, right, shit. Ah, uh, range units. I totally forgot. Uh, fire all the way in the back there. You guys fire at um, this stuff over here. Okay, did we kill that guy yet? No, we didn't. Looks like we didn't really reach him, unfortunately. Eh, let's get out of there. Let's let him, let him go. Let him be. Let him be. Go kill her. You as well, actually. Oh, the cab definitely went back in there. Not really in my initial plan. Get out of there. Okay, we're also putting the forest on fire, I'm guessing. Which is uh, gonna help with doing damage over time to them as well. Still have our heal available if I need it. Which I don't. This guy kinda got through, but that's not gonna work out too well for him, I think. He's taking a lot of damage. Alright, uh, artillery. Next one. Oh my god, we are firing, burning the entire forest down. Unfortunately, that's not really working out too well for us. Okay, Arch, I don't know what's going on here, but let's get you out of there. So, also the calf. You guys go over here. You guys go over here. Archers. Keep burning everything down, please. Fire at that unit now. Uh, yeah, that'd be good to use here as well. Still don't need our heal. Okay, that guy's running as well. And hopefully we can kill her soon. Oh, melee evasion, definitely useful. Alright, Cav, we finally got out of there. Uh, this one still isn't out of there. Man, you guys, this one is really persistent in getting in there. Alright, last general's gone as well. The mess seems to... Now that the things have cleared up a little bit, it looks like we have basically taken zero damage and destroyed everyone. So this is going pretty well. I kinda wanna kill her, so someone keep chasing her, please. Actually, I don't really wanna send you into anti-cavalry units. Oh my god, you're still not out there. How is this happening? Uh, okay, there's a cab unit there, but I guess that's fine. Let's just send you guys over here. Also, artillery, what have you been firing at? That unit there, okay, let's fire at that one instead. Okay, we can get in here now. Yeah, you can get in here. I might lose a few men from charging in the side of this unit, but I think it'll be okay overall. Yeah, I lost quite a few men, actually. That's alright. Killing power, I'm pretty sure that... Oh yeah, I buffed her as well, but... Yeah. 
only buff those two, not really that great. Uh, get in here, get in here, there's an actual archer over here. That's impressive. Archers have somehow gone up front again. Let's try and not do that. I should use guard mode more often, I forget about that. Still got the heal available. Unfortunately, all the generals got away, but... I think we'll be able to just kill them off. Wait, is that not the ability I just used? No, it was that one. Okay, gotcha. I understand. Actually killed quite a few Jian Sword Guards, which I didn't even realize they had. Hey, there we go, finally. Took a while, but we won. Alright, now we try and kill as much as humanly possible. Should be okay. We got all of our calves still remaining. I mean, that was a fantastic battle. Looking at the losses, to be honest, I mean, our infantry is essentially unscathed. Like, really didn't lose much at all. A couple dozen men. Our cavalry lost a fair amount, but that's not really a problem. Our archers essentially lost nothing. Generals are even not even that wounded. So we really didn't lose much at all there. Uh, let's start triple speeding this. 18 men remaining still. I do kind of want to get my generals nearby each other to use the ability to heal. Also, where is Shunkai? Oh, that's you over here, right? Okay, go kill that unit, please. Can you reach them? Yes, you can. Twenty-two, one that's dead. Fifty. Okay, we gotta kill that one. You should be able to kill them off. You can help out as well. A couple of cab units doing nothing here, but I don't think I'll be able to reach anything anymore with them. You chase something off all the way. Okay, let's get Zhang Kai this way. Get my generals together and start healing them up. Okay, you can let that be. Everyone get over towards that one guy. Who's gonna get there first? Does look like Zhang Kai. No, fuck, that one. Oh, goddammit, I should have let him live. No, I didn't get the heal. I thought there was more stuff still on the field. Oh, well. Should be okay. <laughs> Such an idiot mistake as well. I should just let that unit... That unit was already dead. Like, I didn't... There was no reason for me to kill it. Alright. That was a successful ambush. If I do say so myself, and I got a nice book, and Zhang Mi, who's got a different book. Why Liaozi? Sure, I want it. Oh, we got her as well. She's got a feather fan. Feather fanny. Um, you're both dead. And since I've got, you know, normally it's like the money here, I think, but since we've got that Gongshan Zan army just around the corner, which might even attack me right away since they now know I'm here. I'll take the replenishments. Oh, and they are selling out, right? Well, this is a big decision. Because this, if I win this one right now, means I can take this castle and that would be my first Imperial seat. But it's going to be a very tough battle. It apparently predicted a decisive defeat. I'm like, that's rough. I could wait for reinforcements, but that would obviously slow things down quite a bit. There's a trebuchet in here. I mean, this initial army is really bad, and these reinforcements are no better. It's just this only. These are incredibly good. Like, if I don't blow up the defenders of Earth, they will destroy my army. If I don't kill these guys with my trebuchets or something, they will destroy my army. Maybe I'm, like, overestimating them because I am I know how good they can be, but they are all level 1, so that's a thing, whereas we are all level 10. Um... Alright, I'll fight it. I can always run away halfway through the battle if it looks like it's going south. The thing is here is that if we run away, they can't do anything because the, the threat is their garrison, not their actual army. So, I don't have to worry about that. I just gotta worry about the... The reinforcements from the town. So if they, if they come out and attack me in the field, but they don't get reinforcements from the town, it's not a problem at all. I think that does mean that I'm gonna try and go on the offensive right away of my... My generals try and kill off the trebuchets because this is once again going to be one of the situations where we stand the chance or we have the the possibility perhaps of killing off the trebuchet while it's trying to reach their reinforcements. Um, I don't remember if there was any cav in the initial army. 
Let's just run our cav with. Just run everything up there. We got to we got to put everything in trying to kill that trebuchet because that's no, threat number one, basically, the biggest initial threat, and then it's the range units and also the protectors of heaven. But those aren't even as much of a problem as the defenders of earth are. So yeah, we're gonna pull it all, put it all on the line, trying to kill the trebuchet. Yeah. So it is at the front there, and it's going to be at the back, basically, of them trying to get to their reinforcements. It just isn't gonna take very long for them to get to their reinforcements, and for all that stuff to turn around. Having said that, we're almost there. That unit is also super scary, by the way, not to be underestimated. Okay, I'm gonna leave the calf here in this forest. I can just run them in as reinforcements if I have to. But for now, it's gonna be up to these guys to do it. I could even use the immobilization thing to get out. I could use it to stop them from moving further so we get there faster, but I don't think that's worth it. Although I have two, so I, yeah, I should have a pretty decent escape plan here, to be honest. They're not there yet, so I think I should be able to do this. And the reason I'm leaving the archers behind is because, or my cavalry behind is because otherwise they'll get shot down by archers. Okay, so we're here. Now we just gotta kill these guys as fast as possible before this army shows up. That's easier said than done. I don't really have any particularly good damaging abilities. Just got heal, but heals and 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 debuffs are well, yeah, making the enemies stop moving essentially. Killing enough men will also just stop them from doing much, but... Okay, let's use one of the... Okay. Let's let the rest be. Get the hell out of there. I think we killed enough of them that it... Ugh. Well, 21, but they are off the trebuchet. I'm not sure if the AI is smart enough to even put them back on again if they do come back from routing, but even so, they'd only have enough for two trebuchets, I think. They are back, but are they gonna actually get back on the trebuchets? That's the real question. I got a sneaky feeling that they won't. Um, definitely worth killing off a Defenders of Earth unit if it's just gonna linger about here as well. It's one and a half minute before we got that one available. We got one more ready though to use if we need it. Yeah, if we can kill off another... If we can kill off a Defenders of Earth unit here, that'd be fantastic too. go away again. Oh shit, I didn't realize they just walk past and actually go for my army. That's alright. I'm not really doing a lot of damage here, to be honest. You are weak. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that unit is so spread. I mean, look at how spread it is. It's ridiculous. I can't really do much against that. Just to give a charge in here, I suppose. Having said that, there's a lot of cat or a lot of archer units by themselves over here. Let's just start charging in there and see what happens. Although they might turn around and attack me if they see me. Eh, it'll be okay. Kill off this archer unit. Alright, so they're being shot by my trebuchets, which normally I don't think that's actually something I would be really interested in doing, but I think for the moment I'm gonna let it be. Okay, let's go kill that unit now since this is the problem. If they start firing those shots at my cavalry, we're just gonna get absolutely destroyed. Use that one, because that one's almost available again. No, why did you stop? Oh my god, they lost their target, I guess. Just kill as many archers here as possible. That, we're just gonna have to deal with by kind of default. My units will just have to deal with this. Uh, okay, we did a lot of damage to that one. Try and get into that one there. If, if we at least stop him from firing, that's already valuable. Because they can do so much damage. Lost a significant amount of archers already. Do I, I don't have any kind of like damaging abilities or anything. Only a passive buff. Okay, good job. Let's make sure we route that unit as well. These are sh Saber Militia, Saber Infantry, okay. You are kind of trapped over here against some good units. I mean, that unit might be dead. 
Uh, the three of you guys attack these units, please. Okay, yeah, we're taking quite a bit of damage now. We gotta get out of here now. There's too many actual good units attacking me there. I don't think that, that did, really did a whole lot. How is that fight going on over there? I think we're doing okay, actually. Surprised this unit hasn't routed yet. Okay, you guys give him a charge while you guys get out of there. And we're just gonna get to a forest somewhere and hide for a bit. You need to get out of there now, I think. You need to get out of there as well. Don't come back from running. Trebuchet crew right there. Okay. Time to just get the fuck out. You as well. Oh God, still random shots flying in from all over the place. This is where I wish cavalry was a bit faster. Okay. That was pretty successful, I think. We did a significant amount of damage. Unfortunately, that unit is routed. That was unfortunate. How is this under range? There's no way they're still in range. Oh, that's just a regular archer militia firing fire arrows. So that makes more sense. Okay, keep running back. Uh, you guys are about to get caught. Try not to. Let's try and run around and just kill those archers now. That this is all completely distracted. You come back from routing. Ugh. Try and kill that unit off for me. Try and chase me a little bit, so have you. Damn it. Keep getting caught over there. Can we have one more? Yeah, we have another one of these abilities. Stay the fuck away from me. Calf. Okay, we routed that unit. Good shit. Uh, okay, we're having a proper fight over here now. I don't know where their cab went, but it may have actually just been all blown up. You guys have almost that run out of ammo, which sucks, but at least you stopped the calf from doing too much. Okay, you guys are completely free of all this stuff now. Good shit. My calf, we lost a calf, and then a couple other ones are almost dead, but enough left over to kill these dudes. This is actually the main problem, actually. We can't really do much against this. Just kind of send some stuff in there and reform the line, I guess. Doesn't really matter much. Alright. Kill that unit for me, please. You guys get out of there and kill that one. There's a Saber infantry helping out, but... They just start countercharging me right at the end there. Oh my god, what is that? A hell of range though. Get back in there. Oh, you guys came back from routing. Hello. Uh, yeah, go kill this archer unit. Oh, you lost it. Never mind, just go this way. Alright. If only we had a healer here, I'd be a lot. I would feel a lot less bad having to use my uh, generals like this. Okay, this is just, yeah, we're not doing anything against them, basically. Uh, we killed that unit. Still killing the Saber Infantry. We don't really have to. Let's get out of there. There's another Defenders of Earth. Okay, let's just have everyone go and kill that one as well. You routed that one. I think that's the last of the Defenders of Earth. What is up here, though? Just a couple units standing around doing nothing. Bugged out, I guess. Unsure. There's, okay, there's 17 men remaining right there. That's not too big a deal, though. We can handle that. Alright, it's time for you guys to come back and go handle these guys. She's actually taking quite a bit of damage already. My archers are almost out of ammo, which is problematic, because we don't really have the... Uh, we don't have any power left remaining, basically. Fuck, we got caught. Damn it. That was not what I intended to have happen. Um... See, so yeah, I only have two cav units left right here. So when we do get to fight these Protectors of Heaven, we're going to have a bit of an issue because we don't have any damage left, basically. Because we're almost out of ammo on our range units. But luckily there's only so much remaining, so maybe we can just make a rout at some point. Enemy warriors are running. Oh, nice. That's her. Sweet. That's one general dealt with. Still got one more to deal with, though. All right, line. Let's reform. Completely out of trebuchet ammo. I maybe did 
make a mistake using it up all so early, but I don't know. It's hard to say. He's out that unit already. I think I can double speed this for a little bit. I'm gonna be careful here. How is this? What are you doing there? Standing around not charging this unit. Getting blown up by it, probably. What the fuck is that point in that? Uh, she's still running. Okay, she might come back at some point, but that's okay. Alright, I'm here. Alright, now kill it off as much as possible, please, and then get over here and kill that one. Actually, I think the calf's gonna run back over here. You're gonna go kill this unit for me. But well, funny enough, there's actually more remaining in that one than there. Well, not even, but. Even Stevens. Okay, kill him off, please. Don't let him get away. We need to have the, we need to have some demoralization. What are you? Are you just slow or what? That's the trebuchet crew. Yeah, they didn't go back on the trebuchet. It's something I've seen before in this type of game. Okay, you can ha just hang back. There you go. Kill that one. Nice. Maybe go kill the other dude as well. You need to come back from routing, please. We need to go kill him off, maybe. We are so tired, though, and everyone. It's ridiculous. Actually. Uh, you're so slow. Nah, this is cool kill that one. I was gonna send him back and go kill him, but fuck it. There's another defender's worth, actually. Oh shit, I didn't realize that. You're out of ammo. Fucking kill that one, please. Oh, nice. She came back. Perfect. Okay, you kill that. Um, oh, damn it, you've run out of ammo. Fuck. Okay, kill that unit after all. I feel like that unit is already in range, but this is not firing at me for some reason. That one's come back as well. Okay, you killed that one too. Perfect. Come back this way, please. Uh, I got my cab over here. You know what? Cab, go kill this unit. Double speed the rest of the battle, I think, because now it's really. We gotta kill unit after unit, basically. Get back in there, make sure it doesn't do too much damage to me. Good charge. Okay, now I'll kill loads of them there. Alright, now right, we're gonna gather up. Let's get you back in the forest over here. Uh, you can still kill that unit, though. Also, I probably should shift my line a little bit. Maybe even make it shorter. Alright. Now I'd like to kill the other general off. Make uh, morale even worse for them. I have no range units, so there's no point even stopping them from moving. Except if I wanted to try and, like, have them come at me one at a time or something, but... You guys go kill that unit, please. Alright. Let's kill that one, please. Okay, that's a few too many units coming at me. If only I had some trebuchets. Fuck, you know, we got... Stamped on right there. It was a trick! Oh shit, okay. Well... Let's go deal with this first, then. Oh my god, see, this is the problem. We can't really kill those Protectors of Heaven that well. That's a Gianni of two Captain, actually. That's a Protectors of Heaven, though. We're not doing any damage to them. Oh, fuck, I got my cannon here. Oh, goddammit. I was wondering why they were still hanging back there. See, I need my calf to do damage, so losing another unit there like that was not the right thing to do. You gotta just try and kill him off at least. We are almost riding a couple of units, but it's just not enough. This is the problem that I was always gonna have, but I mean, we made it. We did it as much as we could. Are you serious? That fucking unit. Be. Even though they can actually kill quite a few men, there's not really much point trying to chase them. Okay, we can try to destroy no unit. If you can kill him, we might actually have a chance of just routing everything. But I'm not sure if these guys can even route. Although I think they can. 
Nope, not triple speed. Double speed is good enough. My everyone is so fucking tired as well. What a charge. Great, let's get out of there. Okay, let's everyone kill this person off first. Okay, we're we're getting into everything now. Yes, kill him. We can make him route, that's the way we're gonna win this one. Okay, just get rid of all the shit units first. That's the wrong ability. Stops me from running for some reason. Sure. I need that buff ability. That's the one I was waiting for. But back to normal speed for a minute. Try and get everything in order again. All right, they can route. Touching from that. Oh, my cap's still in there. Actually, you guys just charge whatever. Hey, we did it! Oh my god. Well, that was tough, but we did win it. It took a very long time, though. But that's okay. Unfortunately, I lost all my calf, so I can't really have calf chasing units. So we're not going to be able to do much killing here, I'm afraid. But we can do some. Yeah, kill that unit off, please. Protectors of Heaven. Kill them off, please. Kill that one too. Taking a long time to do it, but they are dying. Oh, that one's definitely getting wrecked. It's a nice one. You know what? I want to make sure that unit is dead as well. Defenders of Earth. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, ah, kill these axe bands. You're having a hard time killing off these units, I know. Uh, yeah, that's alright. You are killing off... You did already kill that unit off. There's another Protectors of Heaven being killed. You're killing another Protectors of Heaven. You're having the hardest time somehow. Boom. That didn't help. It didn't help at all. Alright, well, I think we killed a significant amount of them that it should be okay. You're still killing the Gianna Infantry Captain as well. Alright, those two units, okay, well, they got away. Some of them at least. And then you're just killing that one off. I think you killed enough of them, but it's okay. Close victory. Yeah, I'd say that was pretty close. I mean, that was probably as well as I could have fought it, though. I don't feel bad about any aspect of that battle. The unfortunate thing being that it may not matter. Because there is a good chance that we didn't kill enough of them. Unless I got an insane amount of replenishment. That was a lot of money, by the way. Um, I don't like you. Wait, who was that? Okay, it was just some random dude. Thought maybe it was family. Yeah, I'll take the replenishment here for sure. So I don't, I don't think we have enough... No! Okay. I don't think we have enough... Um, men remaining to actually fight that battle there. Okay, so we're at War of the Kingdom of Wu now, which is really bad. But it doesn't look like Liu Bei declared war me just yet. Unless he did. Uh, no, but yeah, he's like orange now. Alright. Break the dam. Oh, we built some buildings. Oh, he's... See, I, it looks like they are at war. And they're just coming to help out or something. Oh, never mind. This is wow. There's nothing remaining. I didn't realize it was that bad. Okay, we'll do that in a second because that's actually a pretty, uh, pretty key thing that we're about to do there. We got one billion items, of which I don't think I really have to give any to anyone. And we built that town, which I'll probably upgrade, but let's just give it a minute. Um. Okay. Yeah, I do want to get... I want to get the research building, and I also want to get the temple, but I think, yeah, let's upgrade the town, actually. Just fuck it. Just fuck it. Okay, so we dealt with that pretty effectively, but there is still the remnants of that army. There it is. Have I got a night battle here? I do. Okay, let's kill them off. 69! Fuck yeah, that was a lot of money, too. Ooh, and a John. And a dead dude. You know what? I should really start releasing people so I actually have a higher chance of getting peace. 
Nee, I'll take the recruits. Replenishment. Alright, and this one we're just gonna siege out, I think. I'll take attrition immediately, which means they're just gonna come out and attack me, I imagine. Our income is horrible. Just figured to let you guys know. Uh, the war with... Yeah, because this guy got... This guy's a vassal of Kingdom of Wu, so yeah. So basically, we're at war with Kingdom of Wu, which we don't border any of his land, so that's technically not a problem. Um, except for the fact that he vassalizes Liu Bei, or, well, his vassals are Liu Bei, who has land there as well as here. Tsai Mao, who is bordering me there, and Huan Zhu is bordering me there. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff there that will probably turn into war with me in the not-too-distant future. So that's going to be kind of problematic, but first fun thing that we can do here is taking out this uh, town. This really shouldn't lose me much men. It's probably just going to lose me 400 men or something. Yeah, that's okay. And five bucks. If you choose to occupy the settlement, you will automatically cancel alliances with other emperors. Oh, well, I haven't got any of those, so that's okay. Uh, oof, I love that 15 grand, but nope, we're taking this. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Challenger for the throne, Gong Du. Uh, that achievement was playing as a yellow turban faction to become the yellow sky emperor. Sweet. Oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't think about that. No longer emperor, kingdom of Wei. And proceed captured Kingdom of Wei. Emperor Ascension. Ooh. Ooh, what's all this shit? The Age of Great Peace has finally come, and with it the divine mandate of heaven is at ours at last. To whom the mantle of rulership has passed is not certain, however, as the signs keep pointing to two different candidates. One is a peasant with a humble background, the other son of an ancient noble line, that joined the rebellion in its early stages. As the great virtuous master, the people turn to you to make the final decision. Okay, we can get construction cost reduction, construction time reduction, 20k population growth, and plus 50% food from farming, which right now seems like a really good option since we need food. Minus 21 out of nowhere. Oh, fucking hell. Minus 25% retinue upkeep. That's pretty insane. That's going to save me a lot of money. I kind of wish I could see more details right now on how much stuff would actually give me. Starting recruit rank is whatever, and morale is actually not bad. Or plus 30% diplomatic relations with all nobles, plus 100% tribute in diplomacy, and plus 50% income from commerce faction wide. That's pretty good as well. I don't think that would make me as much money as uh, this one, though. I'm kind of wondering what 100% income or 100% tribute in diplomacy means. I I don't I legitimately don't know what that means. Uh, having said that, though. I think I'm going to go with this one. As much as I need food right now, I think I can get over that by... I don't know how I'm going to get over that, actually, but... I guess I could buy some food. For the moment, at least. Maybe. I don't even know if that's possible. I don't really want to make this decision off of this thing alone, though. Like, this is going to make me so much money. Yourself. Oh, that's like... Uh, I, me. I will be the fucking leader. The peasant, the noble, or me. <laughs> I kind of feel bad choosing me, but uh, keep pointing to two different candidates. Nope. Humble a peasant with humble background, son of an ancient noble line, joined the rebellion in early stages. Nah, it's me. I am it. Oh yes, yes, that made me quite a bit of money. I am happy. I didn't check how much it was, but I believe we we're on eleven hundred and something, and I were on fifty four hundred and ninety six. So pretty good. It is I, the faction leader. Thank you. Uh, funny enough, uh, uh, what's his face going to die soon? All right, so we are now emperor. So let me just see here. Can I make people abdicate? Nope, I still can't. Uh, ask the, the why is this not okay? So it's it's just not an option. Not possible with factions of different cultures. Okay, so that's still not going to actually be a thing. So we will literally have to capture every single province. Right, is this place giving me food? Yes, it is, but it's just, it's busted. It's still not going to give me enough to make up for it, though. Can I demolish, like, remove this to a lower level? Probably not. Minus 46. Alright. Uh, this gives me a garrison. 
Which, and this is an Emperor's seat, so you know what, that's not a bad idea. Um, I definitely want this food building to be fixed as well, because I need fucking food right now, son. Um, okay, so what else have we got? This has got to be, this has got a farmland. Okay, so we take this farmland as well, which is that one. Holy shit, that's kind of an awkward position, but okay, yeah, we take that. And then we get a bunch more food from that as well. Plus, there's a lot of food around here to be had as well. Although, unfortunately, part of it is owned by Leah Bay. Um, that city would actually reduce my food even further. That kind of sucks, too. One, okay, back to this. Two, okay, so this is going to be food production, but we already have two of the food buildings. What else could we possibly want here? The grain storage is okay because it gives me income from peasantry, but I'm not really that worried about it. Um, the communal inn is the income from commerce building. Do we just go a little bit of everything here, or do I switch over and make these like research raid and temples and stuff? Um, I'm not sure. So currently, this is fine, I think. And then this one is the commerce income alone, communal trade one, which is not really that great. I think I'd rather go for the artisan build. Okay, we've got the artisan building as well. And then I'd want manufacturing for sure and I'd also kind of want the forges which means I'm kind of stepping off of income from industry or income from commerce and going full on income from industry so I think we're going to cancel that one building it gives me income from commerce and make it into the manufacturing one instead and then I'm still missing out on is there actually a building that gives me income from yeah this one gives me income from commerce and industry uh Okay, it's kind of awkward. I mean, to be fair, it's for naps and corruption anyway, so it doesn't really matter altogether, to be honest. We're still not actually enlightened, so that's going to help out even more once we get there. And we should get there pretty soon. So this is going to get demolished. Right, now. Do we have any other way of getting food quickly? Oh, there we are, finally. Um... We don't get the uh, research rate one here, unfortunately. I don't think we even get it at all. Is there anything that gives me more income? Because I don't think I'm ever going to use this particular guy in battle, but it doesn't look like I do. You're also lumbering and everything. I don't know. You seem like you're shit. Like I would ever, I would never even use you, probably. Um, but there's literally no money to be had whatsoever. Let's just go for this. Yuan Zan. We're gonna go for six percent income from commerce. Fucking why not? It's an extra fifty bucks per turn or something. And you. Okay, there's the research rate one. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's no income to be had right now, so sure. Actually, I've probably got the ability then. You're weak. You probably never use you either, to be honest. But I can still use them for that research rate and all that. Okay. So, issue still remains. Food. I need to find all the food buildings I can currently upgrade, which there are quite a few of, I think, in like the smaller towns I've captured recently and haven't upgraded yet. One of which I'm actually upgrading right now. So this, for example, I can get an extra free food from that building. A bit expensive and it takes six turns, but... So that's jungling, I can cancel that one if I need to. This gives me an extra one food in five turns, that takes a long time. Let's see if I can get some quicker food. Like a, I don't know, a McDonald's or something. Burger King, I'll take anything really. Just some quick food, please. Okay, I didn't have as, much, as many as I thought I would have. Also this, well, I'll keep it, but it's not really a good, good building to have. Okay, we're going to keep going on the offensive here, take the second Emperor seat at least soon. Uh, yeah, don't replenish, so let's go. I think the main problem is going to be rebellions will happen at some point. And this isn't even upgraded town yet, so I don't know how that's going to go. We'll figure it out, we can always recruit dudes, I think that's mainly the, f the answer every single time. Alright, well there was a building somewhere that was going to take five turns for a single food, but it apparently seems to be the best option we've got. Uh, this, I believe, I was... No, I was sticking to food here, so yeah, I'll build the food one, I think. 
And I just want a single food in five turns. Yep, I'll take it. Alright. Alternatively. Plus five available armies. Holy shit. Plus five percent replenishment, mustering turns. Okay, holy shit. Yep, this army's gonna be full next turn. And then, yeah, we chose the faction leader, so our income is actually pretty good. Right. Um... So I'm assuming I can still peace out with uh, Cao Cao, it's just not really that useful to me, I don't think, unless I can get a... Nope. It's just saying, unless I can get an incredible deal and get all of his farm provinces right away, but it doesn't look like that's even going to be a, uh, a thing that I can do. I would actually possibly take peace... No, I wouldn't. I was going to say, for just that, no, it's not even worth it to him. Yeah, I would take it for that, probably, next turn. Or... In a couple turns. See, I can't. I don't want to take this because of the. I could just loot it, I suppose. Do I siege him out? No, I'm gonna do it. Do it right away. Kind of painful, I imagine. Maybe lose a couple of cows, but that's all right. All right. I don't really want to occupy this place, but I kind of have to. And light. Oh, there you go. Now we've upgraded, and we made even, we're making even more money now. Great. Uh, that's that's good at least. It's clear your claim to the imperial throne is indisputable. You have celestial grace and favor, and the people have carried you to the ultimate seat of power. Lead now of humble strength, but an unyielding and enlightened vision. We got a bunch of experience and an extra character randomly popped up, and we got a local leader available. Taishi Wai Wei. Okay, welcome, I suppose. Uh, what I'm mostly interested in, which I'll have a look at in a second, even though I am mostly interested in it, I'm not going to check it yet, because... The suspense! Uh, no, yeah, I'll check it now. Does that change? Because I know I have more options available now. Demand submission. Ooh, I can make the Han Empire submit to me. Uh, yeah, it still doesn't give me the option to, unfortunately... Or, unfortunately, it still doesn't give me the option to... Um, make or demand application, but at least I can demand submission, which is something. So this is like a vassalage, but not exactly, I guess. Granting you a portion of their income and allowing you to call on them during wars. Okay, can they also call on me during wars? What do they even have still? I can't even see. Holy fuck, they really want that. Are they at war of like everyone? Eh, yes, but it's pretty irrelevant. Um, yeah, I can offer a guarantee of autonomy, which basically it's just a vassalization, then, isn't it? I don't know if I will. Oh, hold on. Yes. I'll have all your food, please. Unfortunately, you don't have any more, but I might just do this for that reason alone. <laughs> it's kind of funny how they really want to be my vassal. They also give me a portion of their income, so that's good. We are receiving regular payments from the Han Empire, but that's going away. I don't even know what that was from, but we're getting it, so. Um, and I'll take any money you've got, I guess. Holy fuck. You know what, I might be... It might be better off asking this next turn when they give me a lot more money for it. Unless they'll give me a ton of money right now, like this. Which it won't. Yeah, still two grand. I feel like I could get a lot more money out of it if I do, if I wait a turn, because they'll give me a lot more because of that going away. I mean, the 60 food isn't going to do much right now anyway, because I'm, I'm still going to be on the, on the deficit. Um, I do, however, have the ability to... Oh, Gongu actually ranked up. Nice. Wunderbar. German now. Can I get extra food, please? Faction-wide food increase. Oh, thanks. Great. That's what I needed. Um, you're my archer, man. I don't, there's not really anything here that is particularly fantastic for you anymore, actually. Inc income from commerce is okay, but we know that's only like 50 bucks. I'm not even really worried about that. Replenishment's okay. Charge speed's irrelevant. This is mostly irrelevant. Um, armor increase is okay, I guess. I'll take the replenishment. I don't think we need it, to be honest, but it's, it's whatever. 
All right, so here's the other thing, and that is um, this. Can we get extra food, like plus food or something? I don't think that, actually, I'm not sure if that exists. I feel like I've seen it before, but not with this faction. We have income from all sources and stuff, but that's not food. Plus five reserves, not food. Food from generals, plus two. There you go. It does exist, but that's not really going to help me that much. Although, to be fair, there's a lot of things I'm co that are coming in soon, like plus two, plus three, plus one. So an extra plus two does add up. Is all that shit? Okay. Mustering turns increase. Pretty irrelevant, too, to be honest. Um... The guy who gives plus two food, he don't, he, I don't, was he any good, like, besides that? It was, uh, this guy. Uh, he doesn't give any income or increase or anything, so. I think despite it being a clear problem right now, I'm still gonna go for plus 10% income from all sources instead. Which we had a, good, a guy around here somewhere that gave that plus 5%, I definitely had a plus 10%. He gives 5, 10% from commerce, 5% from all, could have sworn I saw 10% from all. But maybe I was just kidding myself, you've got 5 and then 5% from industry and 10% from commerce, okay you seem to be the best one. Plus one mustering turns is not really something I'm too worried about, so whatever has the highest income I'll go for that one please. 721, 755. Don't even own the entirety of this one. Um, sure. Shove you in there. Also got another assignment. Uh, what about a food assignment? Does exist? Food production, yes. Faction wide. Okay. I don't know if it matters if we do it in a place that already gets me a lot of food, like this one. Does it actually get me an extra 25% from that building too? Having said that, this place has the building that gives me 100% once it's fixed up, right? Yes. So maybe we'll do it here. This is minus 44, fucking hell. Um, yeah, so let's put you in there. Oh yeah, it also gives me plus 50% food production. Okay, is there a way to... Quickly find out what is the highest like food production town. Plus 25 and Anding. But that's not really fair because that doesn't actually add up this number. Like this is minus 6. Like this one gives me minus 46. But you can see despite that it's only minus 44. So there's definitely still things adding it up as well. Although that doesn't actually seem that good. So yeah, we'll do the Nanping. It's still not going to get me there. But maybe if I trade with the Han Empire next turn it will get me there. So let's do... Food production increase here. It's going to take a turn to act, be active anyway, so I might as well wait a turn on, on the trade, which is what I was planning on doing anyway. Okay. Uh, that doesn't give me any extra food. It just gives me income and reserve capacity, which, to be fair, reserve capacity does actually make it less likely that my town will uh, become unhappy from food deficits. So this wasn't... Looking like it was going to be a food province, but do I just build the farmer housing anyway? Got the lumber yard, so making income from... No, this is the... This is right... Yeah, this is this one here. I think uh, I noticed in the Zhang Yang campaign, I was going to switch it over at some point. I never think I got around to it, actually, but... Yeah, I was going to make this into a food province instead, because the trade port also... Or sorry, not food province, uh, commerce income. Because of um, the trade port. But I think for the moment, I honestly am better off going for this. Right, and then this army, yeah, it's going to wait one more turn. I can actually get there next turn anyway. Well, if I move, yeah, if I move right now, I can get there next turn. Uh, I wonder. I can also go here. I lose the mustering bonus, but I might be able to get there next turn. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, I still replenish a lot, and I might still be able to get there next turn. Sweet. Good idea. This army has almost fully replenished. One more turn. I will probably get there despite... Or if I don't... Uh, even if I don't um, muster. So let's just move over here. And... Yep, still fully replenished. We're going to get there next turn as well. Sweet. So if they sally out here, I might just back off. In fact... 
No, I'll yeah, I'll still siege him. Let's see what happens. I can always back off, no problem. All right. I'm a little bit worried this turn because it's very possible that I will get declared war on by all those vassals, or they will get pulled into the war at least. But we'll see. There's not much I can do about it. Have we moved all the armies? Yeah, you guys have been moved. Everyone else has done their jobs. Uh, oh, also I realized uh, I need I need a second. All right, I have returned. Sorry about that. I <laughs> I put up the new faction vote to replace this campaign actually, which uh, we haven't finished yet, obviously. But you know, did the faction vote a couple days slash week or two in advance, just so I know what I'm going to play after it when it does surprisingly end, like it did with the. Um, Zhang Yan campaign, which you'll see in a couple of days. That kind of ended very abruptly all of a sudden. But anyway, I put up the faction vote video, but then I realized uh, I actually hadn't put up the, the actual poll yet, um, which was supposed to go up 10 minutes before I said, wait, I'll be right back, or whatever I said just now. Anyway, uh, that's up now. It's all sorted. So, where were we? I think I'm basically I was at the end of the turn. This episode t ended up taking longer than I expected because of all the shit uh, that happened just now. So... Um... Yeah, I'm uh, I'm a little bit disappointed with the fact that we cannot make people abdicate. That would have been that would have saved me so much trouble because I honestly think these guys would have abdicated immediately, and then you know we're gonna be in this guy's territory pretty quickly. Like now, the thing is, it's it's kind of interesting how the way we're gonna be able to finish this campaign is obviously we need the 95 provinces as well as. Uh, or on 95 counties as well as uniting China. We currently have what, like 40 something counties? 58. Okay, so we are well on our way, but we still need 37 more. That's quite a few. That's more than half of what we currently have. Um, so obviously, we're going to a couple more towns to take here from um, Cao Cao. And this war seems to finally be going further in my favor now, so we can take out some stuff towards the east and maybe take some more Cao Cao's land, etc. But the problem is going to be that. If, well, for, okay, there's several problems. For one, if we get attacked by all of these vassals right now, we're going to be in a world of fucking hurt because there's so many armies around here that I have no idea how to handle. I have no armies nearby to deal with it. I, I can recruit another two armies, probably, maybe even three. But, in fact, I should definitely consider doing that soon, in fact. Um, I said in fact twice there. But yeah, the other problem being, of course, that we, we need that many provinces and we need to run all the way through attacking uh, the Kingdom of Wu taking the capital but that doesn't mean we're done yet we still need to take a whole bunch of regions as well and if we get declared war on by every fucking one around here it's going to be very difficult to actually do that so this end turn sequence is going to be a bit of a, an interesting one because it kind of de determines how well things are going to go if he's going to get pulled into war if all these other factions are going to get pulled into war it's going to be a problem all right so i've got a choice here i can just back off and come back to the other army or i can just fight this one manually I kind of want to, I kind of want to fight it manually, um, but I also want to see what happens with all the end turn stuff. So I also want to just retreat and, and just come back with the two armies in the, at the same time. Um, yeah, I can't auto resolve this one. Fighting it is definitely the better option here, I think. But then again, if I just come in with two armies in a minute. But they'll have replenished because I won't be besieging them anymore. Yeah, I guess I'll have to fight it. Fucking hell, I'll do it next time then. Um, so that'll be now. That'll be that for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next time we'll find out if everyone got pulled into the war by Sunjian or whoever that is at this point, Kingdom of Wu. Um, and then yeah, we'll go from there. I mean, beyond the fact that all those vassals could declare war on me, this campaign is going quite well. We got the first seat. The second seat is right there for the taking, and then the third seat is going to be more difficult. But the main problem is just that taking the seats isn't going to be enough. We need 95 counties, and that's the problem. But anyway, until then, have a good day and goodbye.